Hello everyone, I am Gyan and you are watching the second session of Java and Web Variables, Data Types and Operators. In this video, we will learn bit level representation of the fractional number. We will see how the computer actually stores the fractional number. These are the various data types supported by the Java and we are learning floating point data types. We are learning float and double data types. Before we continue with our discussion, let's learn to convert decimal fractional number into the binary fractional number. We have the fractional number 12.625 which we need to convert into the binary fractional number. First calculate binary of 12 as we did before followed by a dot, a fractional point. Give a fractional point and write the binary of 12 in the left of the fractional point. Take the digits after fractional point, in our case it is 625 and write 0 0.625. Multiply it by 2 whose result is 1.250. Write this red colored one after the decimal point. Again take the number after the fraction. In our case it is 250 and write 0.250. Multiply it by 2 and the result is 0 0.500. Next write this blue colored 0 here. Again take the number after fraction. In our case it is 500. Write it as 0 0.500. Multiply it by 2 and the result is 1.000. Write this colored one here and again take number after the fraction. In our case it is 000 and write it as 0 0.000. Multiply it by 2 and that will result 0. Any operation on 0 0.000 is useless. So this is the end of the conversion from decimal fraction to the binary fraction. 1100.101 is the binary of 12.625. Let's convert the binary fractional number to the decimal fractional number. For the bits before decimal point, give them weights as 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 square, 2 cube, like that. Right to left. And for the bits after decimal point, give them weights as 2 to the power minus 1, 2 to the power minus 2, and 2 to the power minus 3 as weights from left to right. Multiply weights with the corresponding bits and that will give you the result 12.625. Now the question is how to store a fractional binary number into the memory. We can store 1100.101 as it is in the memory. Then how to store it? There are various ways to store a fractional number in the memory and the one of them is the fixed point representation. We can represent a floating point number in the fixed number of bits. Here we are representing the floating point number using 8 bits. Here we have 1 bit for the sign bit. This bit determines the number will be positive or negative. Then we have 4 bits for the integer. Integer represents the binary before fractional point or decimal point. Then after we have 3 bits reserved for the fraction part. The fraction represents binary after the fraction point or decimal point. Remember that the fixed point representation is not the way the computer stores the fractional number. We are reading it for the completeness of our theory. This example showing the fixed point representation of the fractional number in 8 bits. We can have fixed point representation for the fractional number in more number of bits. We can have 16 bit fixed point representation of the fractional number. We can have 64 bit fixed point representation of the fractional number etc. Here we are using 8 bits to make it easy for the understanding purpose. So this is called fixed point representation. If this sign bit is 0 means we are representing a positive fractional number. This sign bit is 1 means we are representing the negative fractional number. You can see here we are giving 4 out of 8 bits to store the integer part and we are giving 3 out of 8 bits to store fractional part. And we know that for very big numbers the fractional part doesn't matter means if you are calculating distance between earth and sun then after 14 crore kilometers how much centimeter is remaining doesn't matter. And for the two small numbers integer part doesn't matter. Means if we are calculating weight of an atom, then the integer part does not matter. We need something which stores both two big and two small numbers efficiently. There are infinite fractional numbers between any two fractional numbers. Does not matter how small they are. Between 0 0.5 and 0 0.6, there are infinite number of fractional numbers like 0 0.5000001, 0 0.5000002. Even in between these two fractional numbers, you can find infinite number of fractional numbers. If we represent fractional number using a method, then the inter number gap between the closest fractional number is called the precision of this method. Means 
If we are representing our fractional number as a fixed point method, then the inter number gap between the two closest fractional number can be represented by fixed point method is called precision of the fixed point method. This inter number gap means precision is very big for the fixed point representation of the fractional number. We need the inter number gap, we need the precision as small as possible. This is the maximum number and this is the minimum number can be stored by 8 bit fixed point fractional number. We can represent 0.0, .0 as this but then after the next fractional number comes is 0 0.1 to 5. We cannot represent any number between 0, 0.0 and 0 0.1 to 5 using 8 bit fixed point fractional number. We cannot represent 0 0.100. This is called precision of this method. This is called the precision of the fixed point representation of the fractional number. Fixed point representation of the fractional number does not have good level of precision. We need some other way to represent the fractional numbers. Means with the fixed point representation there are two problems. First one is we cannot efficiently store too big and too small number and the second one is precision is very high. Means inter number gap between two consecutive numbers can be represented by the fixed point representation of fractional number is very high. It should be as low as possible. That's why we need some other way to represent the fractional numbers.